Welcome to the Trilogy Oil Field Pro-Am Golf Show. I'm Meg Storms. And I'm Jason Strebrick. We have a great show planned for you today. We're at the Ranch Golf and Country Club, just five minutes west of Edmonton on Stony Plain Road. The ranch is ranked second best public golf course in the Edmonton area and 14th best in Alberta. It comprises of two distinct nine hole layouts. The front nine features a link style design, while the back nine has narrow tree lined fairways and ominous water hazards. This is one challenging course. One elevation change has been nicknamed the Pit of Doom and the final hole has been rated the toughest on the Canadian tour. This won't stifle our young guest today though, as we welcome Edmonton Oil King Cole Benson. In his two seasons with the Edmonton Oil Kings, Cole won the WHL Championship in 2012 and scored his first WHL hat trick last season. The Edmonton native from the Southside Athletic Club has been centering the fourth line this last year, but is looking forward to taking on a more prominent role in this year's Oil Kings roster. The Trilogy Pro-Am Golf Show is proud to welcome Cole Benson. Welcome to the show, Cole. Thanks, I'm excited to be here. Well, from what I saw on the driving range, looks like we got a player in you today. Well, I sure hope so. I mean, you have your on and off days, so you never know. Well, I know that you're going to beat Stradwick anyway. That's not too hard to do. But we're not going to start from here on the first tee. We're going to go out to number 16, where we meet up with executive pro and GM, Murray McCourt, and he's got a challenging shot for us. We are here on the 16th hole of the Ranch Golf and Country Club, and we're proud to welcome to the show the executive pro of the Ranch Golf and Country Club, Mr. Murray McCourt. Before we get to Murray to start off this first hole, Meg, what's going to happen on this hole? Well, Murray's going to put us in a rather difficult shot. So have you decided where you're going to put us today? Yeah, absolutely. There's some deep jungle right here behind us, and that's where we're going to hit from. Oh, that's fun. About 110 <laughs> yards out. Should be a good time. Now, what we're going to do is each pick a tee. The short tee is the high-risk reward shot. The medium tee is kind of a risky shot, but the long tee, you get a completely safe play. So we'll see what kind of tees we pick today. Really? This is the shot? Yeah, this is the shot, Meg. Okay, what uh, what am I doing from here? What's going to have to happen is you're going to choose a club that's going to get the ball up over the, the lower trees here, but we need to keep it below those uh, higher trees off in the, off a few yards in front of us. So you're going to hit a knockdown punch type of shot, which I know you've hit lots of those in your day oh, as yeah. much of a golfer as you are. So. Uh, you're going to hit your six iron, you're going to take about a three quarter uh, swing with a punch shot and the loft on the six iron, like I said, is going to get over top of these trees here and we're going to try to keep it under that next batch of trees and if you get lucky, it might end up on the green for you. All right. Well, it's out. I'm still probably like 75 yards off of it, but it's out. It's safe. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to hit a chip shot as if we were chipping it onto the green, but instead we're just going to try to chip it onto the fairway through these trees a little bit. We're going to work off the theory that trees are 90% air a little bit on this one because it is going to be a little bit of a lucky shot to get to where you need to go. Right. So just get into the ball uh, as if you were going to chip it onto, the, onto a green if you were only 5 or 10 feet away from the green like that. Choke up on your club and get you to narrow your stance up quite a bit and put the ball in the back of your stance so you have it right up front. All right, we'll see how this goes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it actually worked pretty good. <laughs> Where did that one go? Okay, Struds, uh, so as you can see, the, the pin's that way. You can barely see it through all these trees, and we're going to try to take all the risk uh, out of this for you. We are about 110 yards out, but if we look over this way, you can see there's no trees or anything blocking your way, so it's a very, very high percentage shot for you to be able to chip your ball back into the fairway there have about 125 yards into the green. Perfect, oh, Strudge. you, did you listen it. well. Yeah. That <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. That looks pretty good. You have uh, definitely the longest shot there, but mm. we'll take a break and we'll see how we can finish out the hole and who gets the best score. Coming up on the Trillage Oil Field Pro Am Golf Show. It sure is downhill, hey? But that's a much easier trip from that side. Sure. All right, Benny, let's see what you got, buddy. Incredibly short. <laughs> Trilogy Oil Field Limited, providing oil field rental tools to industry in Alberta and Saskatchewan. For product information, visit TrilogyRentals.ca. Welcome back to the Trilogy Oil Field Pro-Am Golf Show. We're here on the 16th hole. We've all hit our shots. Now we're going to see who can finish out the best. You guys got this? I do. Well, I'm up first and I'll probably put it within 10 feet, so oh. put the pressure on you guys. Let's see this happen. Let's go, boys. You sure you're going to be able to make it there with the pitching wedge? <laughs> I could throw this club that far. <laughs> All right. 
skate. It doesn't look too bad. Is that within oh. 10 feet? I can't tell. It's I too close. Oh, nice stroke. Dancing. You're dancing, bud, yeah. <laughs> Just on Not the left. inside Strudwick's, but no, it'll do. Hard. Oh, thin. Oh, that's no good. It must be because I had the riskier shot that that didn't end up on the green, right, boys? You can do better, uh, that's for sure. <laughs> Wasn't the best one you've done. Yeah. How long have you been golfing for? Oh, I'd say the past two years I've been golfing quite a bit compared to uh, like four years ago was when I started, I'd say. You started playing golf four years ago? Yeah, just in the off season. It was just something that I like to do. Uh, my friends got me into it. Actually, my dad got me into it, and I just golf with my friends a lot now. Oh. What's it like to play in uh, your home, uh, home city? Uh, it's awesome. Uh, when I got drafted to the O Kings, that was my main reason for choosing the playing in the WHL over going college route. Actually. Yeah, sure. So it was. It's been really awesome being able to play in front of uh, all my friends and family. I'll mark mine. Get it out of the way, guys. So close. What is this? Uh, yep. Just like I said, about seven feet. You hit one good shot. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh It'll my goodness. Am I even going to be on the green? It sure is downhill, hey? But that's a much easier trip from that side. All right, Benny, let's see what you got, buddy. Incredibly short. <laughs> It's really a dog fight between you and uh, Meg here, right? Eh? Let's face yeah, it. Yeah, I'm really surprised. <laughs> You're going to three putt from where you are about seven feet away, so I just have to drain this. For sure, I got to three putt. Oh, geez, that was pretty good. Wow. So, are you guys giving me that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah we, want it. we can't watch anymore. <laughs> Bit of a knee knocker downhill. All right, I'll give this one a little harder tap. <laughs> cool. Oh. Ooh. Why don't we tap this in and we'll get on to the next hole, guys. Is everybody ready for this? Oh. oh. Oof. I'm gonna need to see that go in too. Are you serious? <laughs> I just okay, gave fine. You one twice as long. Fine. Hey? Pick it up. Let's hope I'm not going for a four putt. <laughs> just tap it in. Nice go, one. Buddy. Right in the side. <sighs> Good job. Unfortunately, that was five. Was that five for you? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Five for you, five for me, four for him. What's happening? I guess Strudwick has a one-shot lead going into the second hole. Hi, I'm Sue Ali from Mayfair. I'm 16 years old and my handicap is 22. I got into the game of golf through playing with family. And about four years ago, I just played with family. But last year, I started playing competitively. I golf, I try to golf every day, but like, three times a week, usually. I like the courses and how it's all quiet and it's nice to play with other people because I join other groups. Biggest lesson I've learned so far is to be confident and just believe in yourself in every shot. And after best shot, I try to have some little snacks to shake it off and it helps. My goal for golf is to win the provincials in Fort McMurray for a high school team. I want to get scholarship if I can. I try to maintain with my academics, so it's hard to do both, but I try my best. Coming up on the Trilogy Oil Field Pro-Am Golf Show. Oh, that was no good. Oh, the oh. smokes. Well, give me some practice time. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Holy. Safe. Trilogy Oil Field Limited, providing oil field rental tools to industry in Alberta and Saskatchewan. For product information, visit TrilogyRentals.ca. Welcome back to the Trilogy Oil Field Pro-Am Golf Show. As it stands, I am in the lead 
There's still two holes to go, so a lot of opportunity for the other guys to catch me. It is now time for our second challenge of the day. Yeah, I think those are the operative words, is that as it stands, <laughs> Stradwick is in the lead. Cole Benson and I have a lot of time to make up here. We still have two holes left. This one's a unique one because we're all going to pull cards. Whatever the card says, we have to do. Some are good, some are bad. Let's see what we get. Ladies tees. Four key. Tennis racket. Bang. Oh. All sure. right. Looks like I'm going to take the lead here. <laughs> <laughs> you may. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can. I'm not a great baseball player. Nice swing, but not a great player. What sport are you good at? Uh, it's more like which ones am I not good at? All right, ready? Oh, I jammed myself. Hold on. Hey, that's okay. Stop. Stop. Oh. It's for a lefty, that won't be too bad. You're kind of cozied up against the weeds, but we just had a shot similar to that, so you should be good. I'm, I'm definitely going to want to aim right at the water. How far do you think you could serve it? You should be able to hit it onto the green. Well, if you hit it like Rafael Nadal, you should hit it over. <laughs> yeah. Martin Navratilova. Milos Raonic, he's got a good uh, serve. Cool. That was no good. Holy oh. smokes. Well, give me some practice time. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Holy. Safe. That was a terrible shot, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, silky. Wow. Might be over. Nope. Oh, oh, beautiful shot. And I'm okay. Advantage nice Cole shot. Benson. Nice what other sports did you play growing up? Uh, I played uh, baseball, lacrosse, soccer, did some track and fields. I pretty much played them all, actually. How beneficial is it to play different sports when, especially when you specialize in one now when you're playing in the WHL? Like, how important is it to play I mean, those other ones? I think it's really beneficial, especially like it, every, they all contribute to something. Baseball was hand eye coordination, and you got your power when you're running in the outfield and running in the bases. Um, baseball was my favorite sport, but I think uh, it definitely helped a lot with my hockey. You come from a pretty big hockey family. Both you and your brother play hockey. Was that something your your, your parents enjoyed uh, getting you guys in when you were younger? Yeah, my parents were uh, big uh, sports fans growing up. Um, so as soon as they got the chance, they enrolled us in hockey. And we've been competitive ever since we were five. This might be a risky place to stand, but... <laughs> I sure hope not. <laughs> well, that looks good. That's not bad at all. Yeah, it's on there. All right, good, Strudwick's turn. Let's see if we can find his in the, oh, okay. yeah, no, I, I see it, it actually. I can't believe that you played that one safe again. Well, I didn't have a shot. I mean, what am I gonna do? I'm not well, no magic. guts, no glory. All right, well, third shot on a very short par three. I'm gonna make the magic happen. That's looking good. Grow a beard. Ooh. Hmm. I'll just tap this in and get out of your guys' way. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're gonna have to if you want to think about staying in the lead. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Oh man, what happened really? there? Same problem as me in the first hole. Birdie opportunity. From the ladies' teeth. <laughs> it's nice that on this hole it doesn't make that much of a difference. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh. what a great putt. Wow. Nice roll, buddy. You've got this one. Thanks, Strudz. <laughs> I'll have to give it to her, Benny. Yep. Anyway. He's got to sink that. Okay. I do. This one, I Unless you want to give that to me. That's kind of close. I do. I do <laughs> too, but Meg doesn't want to. Let's see if I just tap this in. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Tough hole. This is a knee knocker. It is. Oh, no. He's got this. Hey, I'm trying to get in his kitchen. <laughs> this is for 
This is for par. For par, to tie. Oh, oh, champion. Gets his par. Nice one, buddy. Thank great you. shot, great shot. Champions don't make excuses. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Here's what it's come down to. Strudwick has one, Cole has one. I have none. I really need to pick it up on this last hole. We're gonna go check out and see how well you know your rules of golf. We'll come back and play the third hole. Rule 8-1 states that a player's caddy is well within the rules to take a club and swing it in order to show the player how to play the shot. However, if your caddy is showing you how to swing your club, you may want to try a couple rounds caddying for him. Coming up on the Trilogy Oilfield Pro-Am Golf Show. Well, I got the driver. No one loves a coward. Oh, right into the water. No. Nope. Come on, come on. Oh, safe. Nice shot. You're looking good from there. Wow. That's how you do it. Trilogy Oilfield Limited, providing oilfield rental tools to industry in Alberta and Saskatchewan. For product information, visit TrilogyRentals.ca. Welcome back to the Trilogy Oilfield Pro-Am Golf Show. Today we are golfing with Empton Oil King Ford, Cole Benson. Cole and I are each tied with one win. Meg has still had to get on the board as we head on to the third hole. Yeah, I gotta get my stuff together here. Before we play out the third hole though, Jason and I have an ongoing one-on-one -on -one challenge. So sit back and enjoy another installment of Storms vs. Struts. We're on to the fourth challenge. But just to recap, after three challenges, I am up two to one. We're it's not to... that big of an accomplishment. Well, it is. I'm not even a professional golfer. <laughs> For this one, we're going to do a one club challenge. I've chosen a seven iron. I think I might also use a seven iron. You hit your seven iron a lot further than I hit my seven iron, but That's we'll true. see who can finish out better. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a bunt. Not very far. Wow. Oh, it was a nine iron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a little bit in the rough, but that'll do. Yeah. I can get on in three from there. <laughs> I didn't even know there's trees there. You didn't? No, I can't even tell. You can't see that massive spruce? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, get I up there. I didn't know you knew how to shape a club. I think that might be in trees now. Oh, no. <laughs> Too much. You, look, I can see the flag from my shot. Oh, right down the middle. Golf's not very interesting, though, when you just hit it down the fairway. You make it more interesting. <laughs> Get down. Four. Shoot. Oh, I might be in the oats. So for my second shot, I went for it. And I thought it was going to end up in the trees here. But instead, look what happens. I'm just off the green. Perfect. God hates a coward, and I went for it, and he rewarded me. You must be a member here for that bounce. <laughs> Well, it's a great shot, I'm not going to lie. Great shot. Well, let me chip this on and we'll go look for yours, Meg. Uh-oh. Skate, little man. Not the shot I wanted. It's pretty good, Meg. Oh, that's not bad. No, it's not bad. It's, Tough shot. It come down to a putt off with a seven off, iron. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's fantastic. Pressure's on. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> wow, so I gotta make this. You have to make this for the win. Jeez. Okay. Oh. Boom. I love it. That's that, how you do it. That was it. clutch. So that was a five you got. Bogey. Bogey with a seven iron, yeah. Bogey with seven iron, not yeah. bad. So what did you end up with? A double bogey. I would bogey. have got a six, yeah. Okay, yeah. not bad. So that's uh, now a 3-1 lead for me. That is a 3-1 lead for you. Okay, I don't have to be nice, so I'll start letting you win a couple holes. <laughs> if, if you could. All right, Cole, you have honors. A lot of water out there, just saying. All right, still going for the green anyway. <laughs> okay. Get up you there. crushed that. Oh. oh, it's oh. wet. <laughs> Get over. Oh. oh. Oh, my goodness. Take I'm your shot over mine. Well, I got the driver. No one loves a coward. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, right into the water. Nope. Come on, come on. Oh, safe. Nice shot. You're looking good from there. Wow. That's how you do it. Oh, it nice shot. Draws in there nicely for you. Great. Perfect. Middle of the fairway. So this was your second season in the WHL, and you had your first WHL fight this season? I did. Um, that was, uh, I never actually expected to fight. Never thought I was going to. Why, but... you have so much bulk <laughs> and height. Oh, height, yeah. yeah. No, well, probably one of the shortest guys in the WHL, but I managed to find another guy that's the same height as me. <laughs> Jake McKidiak, he, uh, we played against each other growing up all the time and he's always been that chippy guy on the ice that really likes to get under your skin. So when we played against him, he did that to me again. I just told him, all right, let's settle this. <laughs> <laughs> Who did the, did the decision go to? I don't know. It was kind of even. I, I heard I gave him a black eye. I was pretty happy about that. <laughs> but I also did a little spinorama too and he got me on the back of the head. So <laughs> I guess. Pretty even. Well, Strudwick is the guy to talk to about that because you that kept you in the NHL, right? Yeah, losing or winning fights? <laughs> Fighting. <laughs> a bit of both. Now, you also had a first this year. You had a hat trick. I mean, what a special thing that must have been. Yeah, it was pretty incredible. They weren't the nicest goals, but they just, the goal's a goal when it goes into that, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, were, we, were, we were down the whole game, and I just kept trying to, I kept pulling our team back into it. We had goal after goal, and I am, that was, that's probably the highlight of my career so far. I'm pretty excited about that. 150, win at your back. I Sweet like it. Oh, going for trees. Hit the cart path. Oh. Oh yeah, chip and a putt. Save par. What are your goals for this season? Um, definitely be able to produce more for the team. Um, last two years, I've been uh, more of a guy that just brings the energy to the team. Um, and this year, I'm hoping to score a bunch more, actually. Who knows, maybe get a second hat trick. Nice. Now, you know, that's the evolution of a player. You come to a team, you, you kind of find your way onto the team, and you move, your, you move up in line. So how are you going to change uh, your off-season approach to be able to provide what you're hoping to do next season for the Old Kings? Uh, I'm trying to build a lot of power into my legs. That's the biggest thing, because I'm not a big guy, so really there's not a lot of point in me trying to bulk up too big, because I'm not going to be the guy to hammer guys around but I can definitely use my speed to drive wide and get to pucks before other guys do, that's for sure. I don't want to put the pressure on you, but I'd really like you to jar this. I would too. I'm cheering I would for enjoy you it. over Strudwick. Nice swing. Jeez. Get up. Oh, I'm happy with that one. Yeah, you should be. Nice shot. Well done. I want you to be careful on this shot because you'll see where the hosel is. If you hit that, that might go in the water, and I'd definitely hate it if you were to hit the hosel. Oh. Oh. First. Well, that's going to be a long putt, but you're safe. Every young player has a guy he likes to watch. He tries to model himself after. Is there a player in the NHL that you've tried to model your game after? Other than you? No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Ow. laughs> I love it. Uh, I would go with uh, Darren Helm off of Detroit. He's a... Uh, I've Not always the been choice. No. No, I've always been one of the fastest guys on, on every team I've played. I'm hoping to be that on the Oil Kings as well within this upcoming year or maybe the next few years. Uh, he, he always makes a great presence out there using his speed, so that's something I like to do too. Well, I've never heard anyone say helm before, so great choice. Now we're up at Meg's ball, and Meg, this is definitely not where you want to be. No, I thought I was going to have a little more grass to at least be able to hit it off of, but this is a tight lie. There we go. Nice one. Get up there. Oh. Great shot. Stop short. That's puttable. <laughs> it's not a bad line. Skate. Skate. Oh, that's three Jack City. Oh, that's a tough no. one. No. Oh, that's way off. Get up there. Boy, no one oh. wants to believe it, eh? Oh boy. Well, that's no gimme either. We're just putting on a putting clinic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to re revisit a couple of these. No. 
tough one. <laughs> oh. oh my god. How lead does that ever break? <laughs> Oh, there you go. Nice one, Meg. All right, this is all you, man. Okay. Let's just this is for the win. Oh, there it is. Boom. Champions. What's happening? All right. Good job. Jason it. Strudwick is your winner. I can't believe that I said those words. I did not think I'd be saying that for a very long time. Cole, you are great as well. If you miss any of our episodes, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. You can catch all the links there. And remember that we are on every Wednesday night at 7, only on Shaw TV. Thanks, guys. Good job. Awesome. Right on, Betty. The Trilogy Oilfield Pro-Am Golf Show is proudly sponsored by Trilogy Oilfield Limited, providing oilfield rental tools to industry in Alberta and Saskatchewan. The ranch is ranked number two public. And I'm Jason Strebick. We have a great show for plan for you today. Welcome back to the Trilogy. After the fourth hole, I am in the lead. You said fourth. Oh, God, I know. Now I'm going to my We're now into our second hole challenge. <laughs> and we have the link there if you, oh, sorry. I thought I saw a ball coming here, but it was a fluff. <laughs> uh, can we get a sponsor? Yeah, we need to relax oh, the sponsor. Painful watch. Oh, God. <laughs> you have no idea, man. <laughs>